Hello everybody, welcome to Great Mobile Gaming. I wanted to do a series on each ship. So, first up is the Nox class. This is the very first ship you get. You will probably only use it for three minutes, as it is the worst ship in the game. However, there is one really cool feature about the Nox class that you may or may not know. And that is, if you make a couple of Nox class and you're playing server server evasion, server evasion, or you're doing a world war and you're absolutely being dominated, but you still want to earn your medals, but you don't want to spend resources and or repairs, the Nox class does not require any resources for repair and only a few seconds of repair time, so no repairs boost are needed which is a very effective way to gain some medals if you need to just build a couple Nox class and you're good to go without spending any resources or anything like that so the Nox class at level one is terrible we're talking a durability of 2400 and that's because I have over a thousand boost to it. So it's normally about a thousand stock with a low level character. Uh, so the Nox class doesn't get used very much. The Nox class can take out a tier five out with one hit at level one so it is effective for low levels um but i mean really who uses it so this is gonna be a quick one all the way up until we get into the higher level series tier eights tier nines tier tens these ships are worthless i mean they really are don't tear it up don't waste your your fusion uh cores for that um don't waste your traits on it. Don't do anything like that. Like I said, you only use it for three minutes in the game, and then you don't ever touch it again. But, like I said, if you use it for World War, server evasion, free repairs, I would only do that if you're going to lose, obviously, um, and just want medals. But we will talk about it briefly. It is a frigate. So it is good against submarines. It has a rocket torpedo and rapid fire system against surface vessels. The rocket torpedo has an attack of 130% and the rapid fire has an attack of 225%. So, worst ship in the game. But it has one really cool feature. That is that you can use it for, for your repairs. So, keep one maybe. Just keep one. Load up one carrier with one crappy plane and send it out there on a crappy carrier during server evasion and get your medals. And you won't have to spend any um, any resources. I mean, it doesn't have any storage capacity. Four thousand. I mean, that's nothing. Collecting speed eleven hundred. Durability evasion zero. <laughs> zero effects. Uh, chance of evasion is crazy. So. Yeah, don't tear it up. Don't do anything like that. Uh, just keep one, maybe two around if you have space for server evasion. That kind of thing. Um, as the series goes on, we'll get more in-depth with the better ships and what to do. And we'll really figure out who is the king of all ships. A lot of people say it's the Typhoon, but... I was level 28, smashing level 30, 31s, because they were sending all Typhoon waves, and, and I was just smashing them with my Indies, and it doesn't make any sense why you would do that, but definitely not Typhoon, sorry. But, yeah, so this will conclude our first episode of our ship series. But I will say, though, that the Nox class will not only take out a tier 5 as you can see here with one hit we'll progress to let's uh, see what we'll see uh, tier 8 see what 
doesn't take me out surprisingly. Two hits take out a sea wolf. And then I tried against, this is a level 20 Nox class, this is my ult. Versus one of my Typhoons, level 1. And it just completely got dominated. So, you can take it out um, to tier 8. Which surprises the hell out of me. So, maybe it's not such a bad ship after all. I'm going to try maxing one out and see how far we can take this. Alright guys, grave out.